Hey friends, today we're gonna talk about one of the saddest and disturbing movie endings, so for those who haven't watched it yet, please keep that in mind and understand. The movie starts with the couple Alicia and Daniel, along with their friend Chris, driving to an unknown remote area. While Daniel goes to take a pee, Chris asks Alicia if she has told Daniel about their plans. Alicia replies that they should forget about everything, that it never happened. Later, they arrive at a place that used to be a war zone a few years ago. The three of them start hiking and talking about Russia and the recent war. They reach a cliff with a beautiful view. Daniel proposes to Alicia there, and they begin making their vows. However, Chris starts feeling uncomfortable and tells them that he will meet them down the hill and leaves when night falls. Daniel asks Chris what's wrong with him, and Chris replies that he's fine. They assure him that they will never forget him, and they will do everything together. The next morning, Alicia and Daniel wake up in their tent. Chris is already awake and looking outside. Alicia and Daniel ask him what he's looking at, and he says that he sees someone lurking around their belongings. Chris gets up and walks towards the person, with Daniel and Alicia following him. As they get closer, they realize that the person is Devi, a camera person. Chris apologizes for being rude, and the camera person says it's okay. The camera person asks if they mind being photographed, and they agree. As Devi prepares to take the shot, they notice something on the ground. Devi takes a closer look and realizes that it's a landmine. Chris shouts at Daniel and Alicia to step back, and they do. The camera person tells them that they will get help, but Chris tells them it's not possible. The camera person suggests running to the nearby town and returning within a few hours, but Chris says it's not fast enough. Chris knows that he is going to die and doesn't want Daniel and Alicia to witness his death. He asks them to leave, but they refuse. They tell him that they will stay with him. However, Daniel insists that Alicia moves to a safer spot behind the rocks. Meanwhile, Devi is running towards the cliff. Through the telescope, Devi looks at Chris, observing the tense situation. Meanwhile, Daniel manages to find a signal and contacts emergency services. However, their conversation abruptly cuts off. Alicia asks what happened, and Daniel harshly states that they won't rescue a whore like Alicia. Apparently, Daniel already knew about the relationship between Chris and Alicia. Alicia pleads with Daniel to let go of the past and prioritize Chris's safety. She explains that this is not the right time to delve into their personal issues. Alicia also tries to convince him to contact emergency services again, but Daniel insists that there is no signal. Daniel then hands a shovel to Alicia and tells her to dig up the landmine to save Chris. Alicia hesitates because she knows how dangerous it is. Chris asks Daniel if he planned all of this, and Daniel responds that it was Devi's idea. However, Daniel seems to be enjoying the situation and tells Chris that he stepped on the landmine because he decided to sleep with Alicia. Alicia pleads with Daniel to stop making hurtful comments, but he disregards her and insists that it's time to dig deeper. Daniel approaches Devi and expresses his desire to go visit strip clubs and bars. Alicia tries to ease the tension by inserting a pin into the landmine, but Chris states that it's still not safe. They must do as he instructed. Meanwhile, an armed man spots Chris and Alicia. Their dog tries to attack Chris, but the man controls his dog and points his gun at them, urging Chris to move. They gesture towards the landmine, and finally, the man realizes their predicament. He asks for their assistance, but they throw stones at him and question why they are in this situation. Eventually, they reveal the affair and that all of this is revenge. He calls Alicia a whore but agrees to help if they provide certain items. As Chris hands over his money and credit cards, the man points at Alicia and demands her underwear, not American dollars. Alicia reluctantly agrees, and as she is about to remove her clothes, the man insists that she do it in front of him. When they refuse, he threatens to push Chris, and eventually they agree and give him her underwear. The man takes the underwear and begins digging, but it turns out he has a radio. They ask him to use it, but he refuses and orders them to politely request it. As Alicia politely requests, the man throws her underwear and commands her to fetch it like a dog. Alicia complies with the order and retrieves her underwear on all fours. At the same time, the man also hands them the radio, but the person on the other end cannot speak English and asks for translation. The man offers to translate if Alicia is willing to remove her clothes, but Alicia feels uncomfortable and asks them to leave. However, the man continues to insist and demands that Alicia remove her clothes. When Alicia refuses, one of the men points a gun at her. Chris, who is present, manages to divert the man's attention, allowing Alicia to escape. As the man chases after Alicia, Chris seizes the rifle left behind by the man. The man then threatens Alicia with a knife and orders Chris to put down his gun. Chris, filled with worry, hesitates on whether to shoot the man. However, Chris is afraid of harming them both. As the man forcefully takes Alicia towards a cliff, Chris spots an opportunity to shoot the man, but a dog present at the scene attacks him and knocks him down. Chris falls into a hole, but the landmine placed there does not explode. 
Meanwhile, after Chris regains consciousness, the man reveals that the landmine placed there was a fake, and the real landmine exploded when he stepped on it. He also remarks that their friends are clever, and the man leaves them in the hole. Chris arrived at a remote village and approached a house. Inside, a mother and a daughter were arguing loudly. Chris then asked for the right direction to reach his destination. Although initially hesitant, the mother and daughter gave him directions and offered Chris to use their internet. Moreover, they also invited him for dinner. Chris agreed to the invitation and arrived at their house. However, on the other hand, when the man was working in the backyard and entered the house, he was surprised to see Chris there. Apparently, the man was the same person who had been cruel to Alicia. He asked Chris to leave, but Chris explained that he wanted to finish his meal. The man then warned Chris not to involve his family in the matter and promised to meet him at a specific location in 15 minutes. Chris agreed and left, but the man continued to stare and made sure Chris left his place. After that, Chris returned home with the man's severely injured dog. Chris explained that he accidentally hit the dog. However, the man knew the truth and pulled out a weapon. Chris tried to convince the man that the weapon was unloaded, but as the man was about to shoot, Chris quickly injured both of the man's legs. When his wife and daughter saw the condition of her husband, Chris stated that his actions were in self-defense. He instructed them to bring the man inside the house. Chris then ordered his daughter to tie up her mother. He also made the girls drink vodka and poured it on the man's legs. Chris instructed his daughter to give him underwear and asked her to bring it to him like a dog, just as the man had done to Alicia before. Afterwards, Chris began to narrate the tragic story of Alicia, how their father forced her, and the heartbreaking condition Alicia was in, so weak and unable to survive the long journey to the hospital, resulting in her untimely demise. As Chris instructed the man's daughter to undress and engage in a game, but in the final moment, Chris accidentally fatally injured the man's daughter. Chris panicked and sat in silence, listening to the frantic cries of the girl's parents. And that's the end of our movie for today.